I know it's been a long time and it's not COVID, but I wanted to read this book. So I would have a part of it always in my history and I wanted to share it with my students. There are some students of mine that still like to get on my YouTube channel and watch videos. So it's like old times. Look, there's Kate. Finley's, Finley's over here. <laughs> so I found this beautiful book called The Golden Rule. And a student asked me the other day, what is The Golden Rule? And I found it quite amazing that I found this at the perfect time. So here we go. It's by written, it's written by Eileen Cooper. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. A boy and his grandfather stood on a city sidewalk looking up at the words printed on a billboard. Grandma, what, Grandpa, what does that mean? The boy asked. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. People all over the world call those, those worlds the golden rule. Well, what does it mean? The boy wanted to know, and why is it golden? It means this, treat people the way you would like to be treated. It's golden because it's so valuable. And it's a way of living your life that's so simple that it shines. Love that. It's got beautiful illustrations. Grandfather led the boy to another billboard farther down the sidewalk. Some people put the golden rule another way. Do nothing to other people that you would not like have done to you. Either way, he said, it's a very good rule. Well, who's it for? The boy asked. You, me, anybody can practice the golden rule. A rule that's the same for children and grown-ups. Same rule. There aren't too many rules like that. Very few. And it's for people everywhere? Everywhere. Whatever their religion, people find the idea of the golden rule in their holy books, Grandfather said. Christianity says, you should love your neighbors as you love yourself. Judaism says, what is hateful to you, do not do to your fellow humans. Islam says, hurt no one that no one may hurt you. Hinduism says this is the sum of duty to do nothing to others which would cause them pain. Buddhism says do not do to others what would hurt you. The Shawnee tribe says do not kill or injure your neighbor for it is not he or she that you injure, you injure yourself. The boy and his grandfather sat on a park bench. So grandpa, how can I start to practice the golden rule? You begin by using your imagination. My imagination? You imagine how someone else feels. For instance, a new child who is joining your class. How do you think that boy or girl is feeling? New kids look scared. Would you be scared if it was you? Oh yes. What would you make you what would make you feel better if if somebody smiled at me? So to practice the golden rule, you would smile at the new kid. You got it. I bet you can think of other ways you'd like to be treated and ways you wouldn't want to be treated. How do you feel when you're teased or bullied? Sad? Yes. Mad? Yes. Small? I feel small, sad, mad, small. Do you like feeling like that? No, well, neither does anybody else. Love that picture, so beautiful. The boy thought for a moment about the golden rule. I see, there's lots of things I can do. I should tell the truth because I don't like being lied to. I want people to listen to me, so I should listen to other people. When I'm sick or when I'm tired, sometimes I need help, so I should offer my help to those who need it. You're getting the idea, Grandpa said. The boy looked at his grandfather. 
Practicing the golden rule seems like it can be hard. I said it was simple. I didn't say it would be always easy. Grandpa the boy said the golden rule is a very big thing, isn't it? Very big and very small and very old and it's been around for thousands of years. Thousands of years? Well then, I don't think everyone is practicing the way they should. Otherwise, there wouldn't be so many problems between people and between countries. How ironic is this? You're right, my boy. I wonder how things would change if everybody lived by the golden rule. I think people would be nicer and kinder. They'd act better towards their families and their friends and even strangers. Love these pictures. What if countries lived by the golden rule? Grandfather asked. Well, then people wouldn't want to hurt each other because they don't like being hurt. Maybe there wouldn't be wars. That would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Wonderful, Grandpa. But you can't make everybody in the world practice the golden rule. There's only one person you who can do that. Me? You. It begins with you. And that's the end. I love this book. Pretty simple and yet pretty big, especially for our time right now. So I just wanted to share something good with you today. I love you all.